I purchased this package from vcmmuzzler.com. This package included the troubleshooting guide and FAQs, installation instructions, the warning to make sure the engine is cold before you install, the VCM muzzler itself. It has the blue resistor installed already. It also comes with the yellow resistor which is 68 ohms. The blue one which is here it's 82. The brown is 100. The red is 120. The white is 150. And the black is basically canceling this entire thing. So instead of taking it out, you could put the black in back in, and this basically makes it a direct connection without a resistor. There's a closer look. It's pretty simple, straightforward setup. Taking a temperature reading before installing the VCM eliminator, as you can see here, uh, it is 180 uh, degree Fahrenheit when the car is on the normal operating uh, temperature. The installation is uh, pretty straightforward, plug and play. You start by removing the plastic cover, ensure the engine is cold. In my case, I did this installation the first thing in the morning. After removing the engine cover, locate the temperature sensor and disconnect the connector. Next, reach to the connector and uh, remove it. This is a close-up of the temperature sensor and the connector. Uh, next step is just to completely pull off the connector. To start the installation, connect the male OEM temperature sensor connector to the female side of the VCM eliminator and the male connector of the VCM eliminator to the female side of the temperature sensor. And that should be it. Make sure they click. Install back the plastic engine cover and this concludes the installation. After installation, there was no check engine light or any sort of errors, but the blue default resistor did not fully cancel the VCM. This is a temperature read after installing the brown resistor. No check engine light or any sort of errors. This resistor is the one that I kept uh, permanently installed because uh, it eliminated the VCM a lot better than the blue one. What you see here are three different temperatures. The first one is the standard uh, temperature read before putting the VCM eliminator. The second one is the default blue one and the third one is the brown one. You see on average it's about 10 degrees difference from uh, the OEM to blue to brown. The climate or outside temperature can drastically affect how these different resistors can manage the VCM. As you can see on this clip, the outside temperature is 107 degrees Fahrenheit. While I have stepped up from the blue resistor to the brown resistor, the VCM is still back on because engine temperature is still getting high enough to cancel the effect of the resistor. As you start getting out of the stop and go traffic, the engine cools off a bit and the VCM eliminator is back working again.